Drink Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham and we're going to discuss the differences between a hybrid and a long iron because there are differences between the two. Some players prefer one, some players prefer the other and hopefully we're going to answer some questions around these two golf clubs and which one suits your game better. I've got both these two golf clubs in the same loft, so both 22 degrees, so the four iron iron or the four iron alternative with the hybrids. We should see some relatively similar results, but played in very different ways. Um, the big thing that separates the two is the forgiveness level and the speed that is required to make the shot successful. So if I start off with the long iron first, this is 22 degrees, so a, a four iron in my books, not much club head behind the ball, as you would expect from an iron. And because of that, the low loft, you need speed. Speed is crucial to hit a long iron successful when there's not a lot of help at the back of the head. Unless you go super oversized or you go into more of a hybrid. There's often not much help behind the club head. So when you face them with little loft to get the ball airborne, to get it to travel the way you want it to travel, speed is crucial. Now when I talk about speed and what talk, type of speed is crucial, it can depend on the, on the club or the way that the loft changes or whatever that may be. But I would normally say high 90 miles per hour club head speeds, if not getting into 100 miles per hour speeds with a long iron. So that's kind of speed that we'd be looking at to be most successful with a long iron, certainly with very low loft. A hybrid on the other hand, you've got more help. You've got a center of gravity that's further back. Even though we've got the same loft, with that extra center of gravity and more mass behind the ball, the club head speed isn't quite as crucial. You don't need as much. Typically with a hybrid, the ball flight is much higher because of that center of gravity being pulled back and much lower because it it, it's got the space to do so. And because it's got a bigger, wider sole, generally it's much more forgiving. Let's talk about the differences of, of how we hit these two golf clubs. I'm gonna start off with the four iron first. So with an iron, and because we've got low loft, again, we need speed and we need to impart a very slight downward blow. So we need the club head moving into the ball with a very slight downward hit. Not too much to take a massive divot or too much grass or too much turf, unless you've got tremendous club head speed, then you might be able to do so. But typically with a four iron, we want to hit with a very slight downward hit, but also a very clean hit. So making sure we're not hitting too much of the surface. The best way to achieve that, if we go with a four iron here, I'm going to place the ball position just underneath my left pec. So in front of center. I'm then going to aim to get my sternum more over the top of the club head. That way then when I come into the shot, I'm going to hit less down than what I would do on a seven iron or an eight iron, but I'm still gonna hit down, but really aim to catch the ball clean. I'm really aiming not to hit too much floor at all here. And this can be done. A downward blow can happen where the ground almost just gets kissed, almost brushed as it's making contact. Very little ground contact indeed. So ball underneath my left pec, my sternum's over the top of that club head, and I'm going to aim to hit slightly down, but also catch it very, very clean. And there's hardly, it's a nice shot, hardly any contact with the ground whatsoever then. It was, it was, it was, you could almost not, you could only hear the ball. Let me hit that shot again. So, ball underneath my left pec, sternum over the top of the club head. I'm gonna to aim to catch it slightly on the down hit, but very, very clean. Mm, bit left that time. And to some players, when they catch it that clean, they may almost give it the impression that it's a bit thin. Almost like they've, they've caught it off the bottom groove at first. But I tell you what, an iron shot, long iron shot hit off the bottom groove will still perform pretty well. It'll still work for you. You'll still get it out there. Not quite possibly the desired distance, but you'll still hit it well enough. So moving into a hybrid or a rescue or whatever we want to call these things. Um, a great addition came out maybe 20 years ago. Um, fantastic addition because 
again, it eliminates the idea that you need loads of clubhead speed for a long iron. This now you don't need so much. Typically, weight is further back and lower. You get a much higher ball flight, even when the loft is the same. Now, the benefit of a hybrid is it can be hit in a downward manner and clean, exactly like the iron, and it can be hit in a more level slash upward manner. And the reason why that is, is because it's got a much wider sole on the bottom. If we do catch this on the way up, and granted we might catch the ground just behind the ball, the actual, the actual contact won't be that bad because the bottom of the club can save us. It's not going to dig into the surface. It's going to glide along the surface and then make good contact with the ball. So it gives us so much more forgiveness. It gives us so much more uh, room for error, margin for error. So I'm still going to go with the same setup. Ball position underneath my left pec. Now my sternum this time, I'm not going to massively get over the club head. I'm going to sit my sternum slightly behind the club head. Because again, this time, it doesn't really matter if I hit level through the ball or slightly on the upward hit like we would do with a five wood or a three wood or moving into our driver. It's not the end of the world because there's that extra bit of bumper at the bottom of the club to help us this time. So, sternum just, uh, ball position just underneath my left pec. I'm going to catch this clean still, but slightly more on a level to upward hitting manner. And you can see there the ball flight is ridiculously higher. That is the same loft. It's a 22 degree golf club, exactly the same as the iron, but the height there, how many, how many yards was it higher? Uh, can I see it quick? 16 yards? 16 higher, I <laughs> think 16 feet higher. Um, let's go one more. Ball here, it can't be 16 yards, 16 feet. Ball underneath the left pec, I'm going to catch this clean to slightly on the way up. And if I was to hit the floor, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It wouldn't be the end of the world. It's another nice shot. Let me just see what that actual measurement was. As you can see there's hardly any difference at all in distance. Oh, it is yards, sorry, it is yards. So yeah, 16 yards higher up in the air. There's almost no difference in distance, just the difference was the height, the ball flight was, you know, that's what we saw that was different. And with the hybrid, you typically could get a little bit more forgiveness if you do hit the ground first. My own personal preference, the hybrid for me is not versatile enough. I can't hit a hybrid low, for example. I can only really hit it up in the air. And sometimes that's not always a shot. With an iron, I can manipulate it in a way where I can hit it higher and I can hit it lower on demand. Hybrid, it's just a little bit one dimensional, but still for most golfers, that is exactly what they want it for. Height, ease of hit and to replace a long iron. But if you've got enough speed, enough speed coming into the ball, like I say, I want to say high 90s going into 100 miles per hour, a long iron can definitely suit you better. Guys, hopefully that's answered lots of your questions between a hybrid and a long iron.